not sponsored by Dr. Pepper by any means, but this low key actually happened to me. So when I was a kid, once or twice a week I was allowed to drink sodas, which was awesome because soda tastes great. It's not good for you by any means, but it tastes good. Drink water, guys. Drink, drink a lot of water. But anyway, as a child, I was allowed to drink sodas on the weekends. And one soda that I really liked to drink was Dr. Pepper. Once again, not sponsored, but Dr. Pepper, if you do want to sponsor me, I am here. Please watch till the end of the video because I promise that this does have a happy ending. So once again, if you do want to sponsor me someday, I am here. So yes, I was just drinking Dr. Pepper and something peculiar happened. The moment I opened it, it was all fizzy as if somebody had shaken it up, put it back in its spot and just waited for me to go pick it up. So, you know, I'm sure that that's something that technically happens. People might accidentally drop it or shake it and they put it back in the machine without telling anybody for an unsuspecting child to come along to drink it and for it to get everywhere. So, honest mistake. It is an honest mistake. It's fine. So, attempt number two probably happened maybe a week or two later. I tried once again to drink a Dr. Pepper and I'm fairly certain that I went to a different location to get the Dr. Pepper. And what happened? I opened up the Dr. Pepper and once again it was all fizzy and exploded and got everywhere. What the heck is happening here? Okay, two times is just a coincidence. Once again, I must have accidentally grabbed the bottle that someone accidentally dropped and left right up front for an unsuspecting child to pick up. It's okay. Coincidences happen. It's fine. Attempt number three at a different location entirely. I go to get a bottle of Dr. Dang Pepper and I open up the bottle and it was completely fine. No, oh, no, it wasn't. It fizzed and exploded everywhere. Of course it did. Why is this happening to me? <laughs> it's... Why? Dr. Pepper, I thought you and I had a good relationship. We were friends. I, I'd give you my parents money and you'd be delicious. W at what point did I accidentally, I don't know, insult your mother or something? Why are you exploding in my face? And it was at this point that the curse was already in effect. I don't know why it was cursed, but I kid you not, for the next several times, I think this spanned it at least somewhere between a few weeks or a few months. Every time I went for a Dr. Pepper, it was par it was partially, if not fully fizzy, and I had to be super careful in opening it. I mean, eventually I learned my lesson and started opening sodas up real carefully, but it's just ridiculous how that kept happening, right? Has anyone else out there had this problem where sodas kept the same exact brand of soda kept fizzing up on them as if someone dropped it? Was someone following me? Was it someone else's mother that I accidentally insulted? They knew exactly what store I'd be going to, exactly what soda I'd be drinking. Keep in mind, I drink other sodas. Coca-Cola, not sponsored. Cactus Cooler, not sponsored. Big Red, best soda ever, still not sponsored. None of them have blown up in my face. So what the heck, Dr. Pepper? But fortunately, eventually, I picked up a bottle of Dr. Pepper, turned the cap, and nothing. It was safe. I was able to drink the Dr. Pepper in peace. And that problem never happened again since then. It was so weird though, right? How you just go through bottle after bottle and this something like that happens. I don't honestly believe, I don't believe that a soda company can curse you. Nor do I believe that someone was actually after me. Yeah, so don't know what happened there, but I'm happy to report that nowadays I do not have this issue and I can drink my Dr. Pepper in peace. So once again, Dr. Pepper or whatever company owns you, I am here and I will sponsor you. Wait. Wait, you sponsor me. I don't sponsor you. I'm, I'm new, guys. Sorry. I don't know how this works. But anyway, that's all there is. There isn't any more. Hey guys, I'm trying my hand out at shorter videos, so let me know what you think. I'm still trying out some other new things. 
and everything is still so new when it comes to video making. So I'm going to try to make things shorter because it seems like in my analytics people drop off at about a minute or so. So maybe if I speed up the, the pace, maybe people won't do that. But in any case, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video and want to hear some more stories, then please like, comment, subscribe, ring the notification bell, share this video with your friends, and let me know in the comments what your favorite soda is. Once, like I said in the video, my favorite soda is called Big Red. It's a soda that comes from Texas and sometimes decides to be sold in California. It's weird, but you know, Amazon is there for me when I need it, so. But seriously though, drink water. Water is like way healthier for you than soda. So anyway, I hope you all have a wonderful day. God bless and shine on.